Hi everyone, I'm Casey Adenolfi, Director and Partner here at PTSMC in Wethersfield. I recently received my TPI certification, which is Titleist Performance Institute, which means I'm a certified professional for golf training and therapy in order to improve swing efficiency, as well as address deficits to decrease pain wherever it may be. So the TPI screening exam incorporates 16 different tests and measures so that I can assess an individual's swing efficiency as well as any joint or muscle deficits they may have causing pain. Today I'm going to go through three of those tests that I find especially important when it comes to lower back pain. Okay, so the first test is the pelvic tilt test. So I'm going to have my client or patient get into five iron posture. Good. and I just want you to perform pelvic tilts for me. So pulling those hips back and forth. I'm assessing the quality of her movement as well as her range of motion. Her range of motion looks good. She's a little shaky when she goes into that posterior pelvic tilt. So this may be a patient I incorporate more core stabilization training with. The next test is torso rotation. So I'm gonna ask my client to again get into that five iron posture. Keeping your lower body stable, I just want you to rotate your upper body. Keeping that lower body stable. So again, I'm looking for how much mobility she has, the quality of her movement. Is she able to stabilize her lower body, which she is? but she's definitely got some stiffness through that thoracic spine that I'm likely going to treat. And the last test is pelvic rotation. So she's in that five iron posture again. This time, I want her to keep her upper body stable and just rotate her pelvis, her lower quarter, back and forth. And this is a challenging one for most people. So she's having a little bit of trouble. She's tending to move more laterally than torsionally. So go ahead and stop, Ashley. I'm gonna have you, I'm gonna stabilize your upper body for you and see if that helps. Go ahead. And that definitely helps. She's got the rotation in her pelvis. So that tells me she's got the mobility, but she needed some help stabilizing. So I'm gonna give her exercises to stabilize her upper quarter. During Ashley's assessment, we found that she had limited torso rotation when trying to keep her lower body stable. So an exercise to address that would be this ball exercise. She's gonna sit on the ball with a nice wide base of support. You wanna make sure your knees aren't above your hips, which is a good size ball for Ashley. She's gonna sit up with tall posture. She's gonna hold that band with her arms extended, keeping that ball and her lower half nice and stable. She's just gonna work on isolated rotation of her upper quarter. Your head can move with your torso. And we would do this on both sides. So during Ashley's assessment, we also noticed that she had a little bit of a motor control deficit with that posterior pelvic tilt. It was just a little bit shaky on that movement. So to help her train, her transverse abdominal muscle a little bit more and improve that pelvic tilt control, I'm gonna have her do a posterior pelvic tilt on her back. So Ashley, I want you to draw your belly button in towards your spine and think about pressing your low back into the table. Good, you can feel your hip bones kind of tilt up towards your ribs. Hold that about five seconds and then release. Good. And we're gonna do about 10 to 15 reps of these. If I find that she's holding her breath, I'm gonna tell her to inhale as she relaxes and exhale on the exertion. And she draws that belly button in. Good. 